Wool is the textile fiber obtained from sheep and other animals, including cashmere and mohair from goats, kiviat from muskoxen, from hide and fur clothing from bison, angora from rabbits, and other types of wool from camelids. Additionally, the highland and the mangalitsa breeds of cattle and swine, respectively, possess woolly coats. Wool consists of protein together with a small percentage of lipids. In this regard it is chemically quite distinct from the more dominant textile, cotton, which is mainly cellulose. Topic. Characteristics Wool is produced by follicles which are small cells located in the skin. These follicles are located in the upper layer of the skin called the epidermis and push down into the second skin layer called the dermis as the wool fibers grow. Follicles can be classed as either primary or secondary follicles. Primary follicles produce three types of fiber, kemp, medullated fibers, and true wool fibers. Secondary follicles only produce true wool fibers. Medullated fibers share nearly identical characteristics to hair and are long but lack crimp and elasticity. Kemp fibers are very coarse and shed out. Wool scaling and crimp make it easier to spin the fleece by helping the individual fibers attach to each other, so they stay together. Because of the crimp, wool fabrics have greater bulk than other textiles, and they hold air, which causes the fabric to retain heat. Wool has a high specific thermal resistance, so it impedes heat transfer in general. This effect has benefited desert peoples, as Bedouins and Tuaregs use wool clothes for insulation. Felting of wool occurs upon hammering or other mechanical agitation as the microscopic barbs on the surface of wool fibers hook together. Wool has several qualities that distinguish it from hair, fur, it is crimped and elastic, the amount of crimp corresponds to the fineness of the wool fibers. A fine wool like merino may have up to 100 crimps per inch, while coarser wool like caracal may have as few as one or two. In contrast, hair has little if any scale and no crimp, and little ability to bind into yarn. On sheep, the hair part of the fleece is called kemp. The relative amounts of kemp to wool vary from breed to breed and make some fleeces more desirable for spinning, felting, or carding into bats for quilts or other insulating products, including the famous tweed cloth of Scotland. Wool fibers readily absorb moisture, but are not hollow. Wool can absorb almost one third of its own weight in water. Wool absorbs sound like many other fabrics. It is generally a creamy white color, although some breeds of sheep produce natural colors, such as black, brown, silver, and random mixes. Wool ignites at a higher temperature than cotton and some synthetic fibers. It has a lower rate of flame spread, a lower rate of heat release, a lower heat of combustion, and does not melt or drip. It forms a char that is insulating and self-extinguishing, and it contributes less to toxic gases and smoke than other flooring products when used in carpets. Wool carpets are specified for high safety environments, such as trains and aircraft. Wool is usually specified for garments for firefighters, soldiers, and others in occupations where they are exposed to the likelihood of fire. Wool causes an allergic reaction in some people. Topic: <laughs> Processing. Topic: <laughs> Shearing. Sheep shearing is the process by which the woolen fleece of a sheep is cut off. After shearing, the wool is separated into four main categories, fleece, which makes up the vast bulk, broken, bellies, and locks. The quality of fleeces is determined by a technique known as wool classing, whereby a qualified person, called a wool classer, groups wools of similar gradings together to maximize the return for the farmer or sheep owner. In Australia before being auctioned, all merino fleece wool is objectively measured for micron, yield, including the amount of vegetable matter, staple length, staple strength, and sometimes color and comfort factor. Topic. Scouring Wool straight off a sheep, known as greasy wool, or wool in the grease contains a high level of valuable lanolin, as well as the sheep's dead skin and sweat residue, and generally also contains pesticides and vegetable matter from the animal's environment. Before the wool can be used for commercial purposes, it must be scoured, a process of cleaning the greasy wool. 
Scouring may be as simple as a bath in warm water or as complicated as an industrial process using detergent and alkali in specialized equipment. In northwest England, special potash pits were constructed to produce potash used in the manufacture of a soft soap for scouring locally produced white wool. In commercial wool, vegetable matter is often removed by chemical carbonization. In less processed wools, vegetable matter may be removed by hand and some of the lanolin left intact through the use of gentler detergents. This semi-grease wool can be worked into yarn and knitted into particularly water-resistant mittens or sweaters, such as those of the Aran Island fishermen. Lanolin removed from wool is widely used in cosmetic products, such as hand creams. Topic. Fineness and yield Raw wool has many impurities, vegetable matter, sand, dirt and yolk which is a mixture of soon sweat, grease, urine stains and dung locks. The sheep's body yields many types of wool with differing strengths, thicknesses, length of staple and impurities. The raw wool greasy is processed into top. Worsted top requires strong straight and parallel fibers. The quality of wool is determined by its fiber diameter, crimp, yield, color, and staple strength. Fiber diameter is the single most important wool characteristic determining quality and price. Merino wool is typically 3 to 5 inches in length and is very fine, between 12 and 24 microns. The finest and most valuable wool comes from merino hoggets. Wool taken from sheep produced for meat is typically more coarse, and has fibers 1.5 to 6 in 38 to 152 mm in length. Damage or breaks in the wool can occur if the sheep is stressed while it is growing its fleece, resulting in a thin spot where the fleece is likely to break. Wool is also separated into grades based on the measurement of the wool's diameter in microns and also its style. These grades may vary depending on the breed or purpose of the wool. For example, any wool finer than 25 microns can be used for garments, while coarser grades are used for outerwear or rugs. The finer the wool, the softer it is, while coarser grades are more durable and less prone to pilling. The finest Australian and New Zealand merino wools are known as 1PP, which is the industry benchmark of excellence for merino wool 16.9 microns and finer. This style represents the top level of fineness, character, color, and style as determined on the basis of a series of parameters in accordance with the original dictates of British wool as applied by the Australian Wool Exchange AWEX, Council. Only a few dozen of the millions of bales auctioned every year can be classified and marked 1pp. In the United States, three classifications of wool are named in the Wool Products Labeling Act of 1939. Wool is the fiber from the fleece of the sheep or lamb or hair of the angora or cashmere goat and may include the so-called specialty fibers from the hair of the camel, alpaca, llama, and vicuña which has never been reclaimed from any woven or felted wool product. Virgin wool and new wool are also used to refer to such never used wool. There are two categories of recycled wool also called reclaimed or shoddy wool. Reprocessed wool identifies wool which has been woven or felted into a wool product and subsequently reduced to a fibrous state without having been used by the ultimate consumer. Reused wool refers to such wool that has been used by the ultimate consumer. History Wild sheep were more hairy than woolly. Although sheep were domesticated some 9,000 to 11,000 years ago, archaeological evidence from statuary found at sites in Iran suggests selection for woolly sheep may have begun around 6,000 BC, with the earliest woven wool garments having only been dated to 2 to 3,000 years later. Woolly sheep were introduced into Europe from the Near East in the early part of the 4th millennium BC. The oldest known European wool textile, ca. 1500 BC, was preserved in a Danish bog. Prior to invention of shears, probably in the Iron Age, the wool was plucked out by hand or by bronze combs. In Roman times, wool, linen, and leather clothed the European population. Cotton from India was a curiosity of which only naturalists had heard, and silks, imported along the Silk Road from China, were extravagant luxury goods. 
Pliny the Elder records in his Natural History that the reputation for producing the finest wool was enjoyed by Tarentum, where selective breeding had produced sheep with superior fleeces, but which required special care. In medieval times, as trade connections expanded, the Champagne fairs revolved around the production of wool cloth in small centers such as Provence. The network developed by the annual fairs meant the woolens of Provence might find their way to Naples, Sicily, Cyprus, Majorca, Spain, and even Constantinople. The wool trade developed into serious business, a generator of capital. In the 13th century, the wool trade became the economic engine of the Low Countries and Central Italy. By the end of the 14th century, Italy predominated, though Italian production turned to silk in the 16th century. Both industries, based on the export of English raw wool, were rivaled only by the 15th century sheepwalks of Castile and were a significant source of income to the English crown, which in 1275 had imposed an export tax on wool called the Great Custom. The importance of wool to the English economy can be seen in the fact that since the 14th century, the presiding officer of the House of Lords has Saturday on the wool sack, a chair stuffed with wool. Economies of scale were instituted in the Cistercian houses, which had accumulated great tracts of land during the 12th and early 13th centuries, when land prices were low and labor still scarce. Raw wool was baled and shipped from North Sea ports to the textile cities of Flanders, notably Ypres and Ghent, where it was dyed and worked up as cloth. At the time of the Black Death, English textile industries accounted for about 10% of English wool production. The English textile trade grew during the 15th century, to the point where export of wool was discouraged. Over the centuries, various British laws controlled the wool trade or required the use of wool even in burials. The smuggling of wool out of the country, known as owling, was at one time punishable by the cutting off of a hand. After the restoration, fine English woolens began to compete with silks in the international market, partly aided by the Navigation Acts. In 1699, the English Crown forbade its American colonies to trade wool with anyone but England herself. A great deal of the value of woolen textiles was in the dyeing and finishing of the woven product. In each of the centers of the textile trade, the manufacturing process came to be subdivided into a collection of trades, overseen by an entrepreneur in a system called by the English the putting out system, or cottage industry, and the Verlag system by the Germans. In this system of producing wool cloth, once perpetuated in the production of Harris tweeds, the entrepreneur provides the raw materials and an advance, the remainder being paid upon delivery of the product. Written contracts bound the artisans to specified terms. Fernand Braudel traces the appearance of the system in the 13th century economic boom, quoting a document of 1275. The system effectively bypassed the guild's restrictions. Before the flowering of the Renaissance, the Medici and other great banking houses of Florence had built their wealth and banking system on their textile industry based on wool, overseen by the Art della Lana, the wool guild, wool textile interests guided Florentine policies. Francesco Dettini, the Merchant of Prato, established in 1383 an Art della Lana for that small Tuscan city. The sheepwalks of Castile shaped the landscape and the fortunes of the Mazetta that lies in the heart of the Iberian Peninsula. In the 16th century, a unified Spain allowed export of merino lambs only with royal permission. The German wool market, based on sheep of Spanish origin, did not overtake British wool until comparatively late. The Industrial Revolution introduced mass production technology into wool and wool cloth manufacturing. Australia's colonial economy was based on sheep raising, and the Australian wool trade eventually overtook that of the Germans by 1845, furnishing wool for Bradford, which developed as the heart of industrialised woolens production. Due to decreasing demand with increased use of synthetic fibres, wool production is much less than what it was in the past. The collapse in the price of wool began in late 1966 with a 40% drop, with occasional interruptions, the price has tended down. The result has been sharply reduced production and movement of resources into production of other commodities, in the case of sheep growers, to production of meat, superwash wool or washable wool technology first appeared in the early 1970s to produce wool that has been specially treated so it is machine washable and may be tumble dried. This wool is produced using an acid bath that removes the scales 
from the fiber, or by coating the fiber with a polymer that prevents the scales from attaching to each other and causing shrinkage. This process results in a fiber that holds longevity and durability over synthetic materials, while retaining its shape. In December 2004, a bale of the then world's finest wool, averaging 11.8 microns, sold for $3,000 Australian dollars per kilogram at auction in Melbourne, Victoria. This fleece wool tested with an average yield of 74.5%, 68 mm long, and had 40 newtons per kilotex strength. The result was 279,000 Australian dollars for the bale. The finest bale of wool ever auctioned was sold for a seasonal record of 2,690 Australian dollars per kilo during June 2008. This bale was produced by the Hillcrest and Pinehill Partnership and measured 11.6 microns, 72.1% yield, and had a 43 newtons per kilotex strength measurement. The bale realized $247,480 and was exported to India. In 2007, a new wool suit was developed and sold in Japan that can be washed in the shower, and which dries off ready to wear within hours with no ironing required. The suit was developed using Australian merino wool, and it enables woven products made from wool, such as suits, trousers, and skirts, to be cleaned using a domestic shower at home. In December 2006, the General Assembly of the United Nations proclaimed 2009 to be the International Year of Natural Fibers, so as to raise the profile of wool and other natural fibers. Topic. Production. Global wool production is about 2 million tons per year, of which 60% goes into apparel. Wool comprises ca 3% of the global textile market, but its value is higher owing to dyeing and other modifications of the material. Australia is a leading producer of wool which is mostly from merino sheep, but has been eclipsed by China in terms of total weight. New Zealand, 2016, is the third largest producer of wool, and the largest producer of crossbred wool. Breeds such as Lincoln, Romney, Drysdale, and Elliotdale produce coarser fibers, and wool from these sheep is usually used for making carpets. In the United States, Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado have large commercial sheep flocks and their mainstay is the Rambouillet, or French Merino. Also, a thriving home flock contingent of small-scale farmers raise small hobby flocks of specialty sheep for the hand-spinning market. These small-scale farmers offer a wide selection of fleece. Global wool clip total amount of wool shorn 2004-2005 Australia 25% of global wool clip 475 million kilograms greasy 2004-2005 China 18% United States 17% New Zealand 11% Argentina 3% Turkey 2% Iran 2% United Kingdom 2% India 2% Sudan 2% South Africa 1% organic wool is becoming more and more popular This wool is very limited in supply and much of it comes from New Zealand and Australia it is becoming easier to find in clothing and other products, but these products often carry a higher price. Wool is environmentally preferable, as compared to petroleum-based nylon or polypropylene, as a material for carpets, as well, in particular when combined with a natural binding and the use of formaldehyde-free glues. Animal rights groups have noted issues with the production of wool, such as mulesing. Topic. Marketing Topic. Australia About 85% of wool sold in Australia is sold by open cry auction. Sale by sample is a method in which a mechanical claw takes a sample from each bale in a line or lot of wool. These grab samples are bulked, objectively measured, and a sample of not less than 4 kilograms is displayed in a box for the buyer to examine. The Australian Wool Exchange conducts sales primarily in Sydney, Melbourne, Newcastle, and Fremantle. About 80 brokers and agents work throughout Australia. 
About 7% of Australian wool is sold by private treaty on farms or to local wool handling facilities. This option gives wool growers benefit from reduced transport, warehousing, and selling costs. This method is preferred for small lots or mixed butts to make savings on reclassing and testing. About 5% of Australian wool is sold over the internet on an electronic offer board. This option gives wool growers the ability to set firm price targets, rear for past in wool, and offer lots to the market quickly and efficiently. This method works well for tested lots, as buyers use these results to make a purchase. About 97% of wool is sold without sample inspection, however, as of December 2009, 59% of wool listed had been passed in from auction. Growers through certain brokers can allocate their wool to a sale and at what price their wool will be reserved. Sale by tender can achieve considerable cost savings on wool clips large enough to make it worthwhile for potential buyers to submit tenders. Some marketing firms sell wool on a consignment basis, obtaining a fixed percentage as commission. Forward selling, some buyers offer a secure price for forward delivery of wool based on estimated measurements or the results of previous clips. Prices are quoted at current market rates and are locked in for the season. Premiums and discounts are added to cover variations in micron, yield, tensile strength, etc., which are confirmed by actual test results when available. Another method of selling wool includes sales direct to wool mills. Topic: Other countries. The British Wool Marketing Board operates a central marketing system for UK fleece wool with the aim of achieving the best possible net returns for farmers. Less than half of New Zealand's wool is sold at auction, while around 45% of farmers sell wool directly to private buyers and end users. United States sheep produces market wool with private or cooperative wool warehouses, but wool pools are common in many states. In some cases, wool is pulled in a local market area, but sold through a wool warehouse. Wool offered with objective measurement test results is preferred. Imported apparel wool and carpet wool goes directly to central markets, where it is handled by the large merchants and manufacturers. Topic. Yarn Shoddy or recycled wool is made by cutting or tearing apart existing wool fabric and respinning the resulting fibers. As this process makes the wool fibers shorter, the remanufactured fabric is inferior to the original. The recycled wool may be mixed with raw wool, wool noil, or another fiber such as cotton to increase the average fiber length. Such yarns are typically used as weft yarns with a cotton warp. This process was invented in the heavy woolen district of West Yorkshire and created a microeconomy in this area for many years. Worsted is a strong, long staple, combed wool yarn with a hard surface. Woolen is a soft, short staple, carded wool yarn typically used for knitting. In traditional weaving, woolen weft yarn for softness and warmth is frequently combined with a worsted warp yarn for strength on the loom. Topic. Uses In addition to clothing, wool has been used for blankets, horse rugs, saddle cloths, carpeting, insulation and upholstery. Wool felt covers piano hammers, and it is used to absorb odors and noise in heavy machinery and stereo speakers. Ancient Greeks lined their helmets with felt, and Roman legionnaires used breastplates made of wool felt. Wool has also been traditionally used to cover cloth diapers. Wool fiber exteriors are hydrophobic repel water and the interior of the wool fiber is hygroscopic attracts water. This makes a wool garment suitable cover for a wet diaper by inhibiting wicking, so outer garments remain dry. Wool felted and treated with lanolin is water-resistant, air-permeable, and slightly antibacterial, so it resists the buildup of odor. Some modern cloth diapers use felted wool fabric for covers, and there are several modern commercial knitting patterns for wool diaper covers. Initial studies of woolen underwear have found it prevented heat and sweat rashes because it more readily absorbs the moisture than other fibers. Merino wool has been used in baby sleep products such as swaddle baby wrap blankets and infant sleeping bags. As an animal protein, wool can be used as a soil fertilizer, being a slow release source of nitrogen. 
Research is at the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology School of Fashion and Textiles have discovered a blend of wool and Kevlar. The synthetic fiber widely used in body armor was lighter, cheaper and worked better in damp conditions than Kevlar alone. Kevlar, when used alone, loses about 20% of its effectiveness when wet, so required an expensive waterproofing process. Wool increased friction in a vest with 28 to 30 layers of fabric, to provide the same level of bullet resistance as 36 layers of Kevlar alone. Events <inaudible> 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 A buyer of merino wool, Ermenegildo Zegner, has offered awards for Australian wool producers. In 1963, the first Ermenegildo Zegner Perpetual Trophy was presented in Tasmania for growers of super fine skirted merino fleece. In 1980, a national award, the Ermenegildo Zegner Trophy for Extra Fine Wool Production, was launched. In 2004, this award became known as the Ermenegildo Zegner Unprotected Wool Trophy. In 1998, an Ermenegildo Zegner protected wool trophy was launched for fleece from sheep coated for around nine months of the year. In 2002, the Ermenegildo Zegner Velis Aureum trophy was launched for wool that is 13.9 microns or finer. Wool from Australia, New Zealand, Argentina, and South Africa may enter, and a winner is named from each country. In April 2008, New Zealand won the Ermenegildo Zegner Velis Aureum Trophy for the first time with a fleece that measured 10.8 microns. This contest awards the winning fleece weight with the same weight in gold as a prize, hence the name. In 2010, an ultrafine, 10 micron fleece, from Windradine, near Pyramal, New South Wales, won the Ermenegildo Zegner Velis Aureum International Trophy. Since 2000, Lauro Piana has awarded a cup for the world's finest bale of wool that produces just enough fabric for 50 tailor made suits. The prize is awarded to an Australian or New Zealand wool grower who produces the year's finest bale. The New England Merino Field Days, which display local studs, wool, and sheep, are held during January, in even numbered years around the Walcher, New South Wales district. The annual Wool Fashion Awards, which showcase the use of merino wool by fashion designers, are hosted by the City of Armadale, New South Wales, in March each year. This event encourages young and established fashion designers to display their talents. During each May, Armadale hosts the annual New England Wool Expo to display wool fashions, handicrafts, demonstrations, shearing competitions, yard dog trials, and more. In July, the annual Australian Sheep and Wool Show is held in Bendigo, Victoria. This is the largest sheep and wool show in the world, with goats and alpacas, as well as wool craft competitions and displays, fleece competitions, sheepdog trials, shearing, and wool handling. The largest competition in the world for objectively measured fleeces is the Australian Fleece Competition, which is held annually at Bendigo. In 2008, 475 entries came from all states of Australia, with first and second prizes going to the Northern Tablelands, New South Wales fleeces. Topic. See also Topic. Production Topic. Processing Topic. Refined products Topic Organizations equals 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 miscellaneous wool.